It is my privilege to be here with all of you today in this esteemed institute of Tetsu College. I'm very thankful to the principal of this college for inviting us, NCW, to be with you all in this very, very important seminar. I thank my colleague from the Nagaland State Commission for Women who accompany me for this uh, program today. And I thank to all of you, the participants, because without you, this seminar would have not been this beautiful today morning. I'm also consider a privilege of mine to attend this program in this uh, Tetsu College. As I am aware that Tetsu College is concerned and it's, you know, it's a trying to foster and nurture for the be better future generation because the coming generation and you students also who are willing to participate in this program of capacity building. One thing is that, do you know I'm sharing a very special bond and connection with this Tetsu College. Are you all aware of that? Any guess? I'm sharing this very special bond with Tetsu College because the founder of this college graduated from Shillong, from my state, that is from St. Edmund's College. Am I right? Do you all aware of that? Are you aware of that? I could not hear very good response from all of you. You are not aware of that, or what? Sir P.S. Larin, right? Uh, am I pronouncing correctly? This hall also is in his memory. Am I right? So that's why I'm sharing a very special bond because I also, I am from Meghalaya. I think you can identify me by my dress also. All right? So, <clears throat> I was also informed that Tetsu College, you know, the, uh, you co collaborate with many esteemed institute to uh, provide more knowledge, more uh, better education to its students, including we, the NCW. This capacity building and personality development, it's, a, it's an, an initiative program started by NCW. For this, we sent, we advertise all over India so that the colleges, institutes could participate and contribute and can organize this type of seminar in their own institute. After we advertised this, we received around 152 proposals from all over India. But you are the lucky few. We have selected 61 institutes all over India and this state so college is one of the one among those 61 colleges or institute to be selected and to be to accept your proposal for this program. So I consider this college to be one of the best college in the entire Northeastern states because from the Northeast, 
as I am aware, this is the only one college that we are, we have accept your proposal for this capacity building and personality development. I won't go to explain on what is the capacity building or the personality development because we have very good resource person who will guide you in this matter better than me. I'm not a very good speaker, I'm not a very good resource person, but being in the, uh, the member of NCW gave me an opportunity to speak in front of you. As she introduced me, that Ms. Jameer has introduced me, and Ma'am also has introduced me as a lawyer. Yes, I am a lawyer. You know what? I have never speak to this large audience because my audience is only the judge. So I'm a bit, you know, hesitate to speak in front of all of you, but I'm trying my best. And uh, so uh, regarding NCW, if we speak about NCW, ma'am has already explained what is our work, what are we doing, but I would like to add to her uh, information that she shared. We at NCW, we have various cells from where we perform our own work. Okay? We have the CNI, that is the compli uh, Complaint and Investigation Cell. We have this cell. We receive complaints of atrocities against women from all over the country. From all over the country. And I'm very privileged to, you know, I, I have been allotted with 10 states to look after all the complaints, all the investigation, or whatever the matter related to the atrocities against women or the crime against women, to look after all those matters. So I have the entire northeastern states, that is our eight states, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Manipur, Tripura, all the entire northeastern states, plus two states, that is Maharashtra and Rajasthan. So in case there is any complaint arising from this 10 states, I will be the one who will be responsible to go for a, an inquiry, to investigate the matter, and to decide the matter or the subject matter that we received as a complaint. So all of you also, if you have any any information about any crimes against women, anything, or you witness in the society, you can approach to us by going through the website of NCW. And we have down on the website, we, you can see the complaint, complaint and investigation cell. You can write down your complaint. You can email your complaint through that CNI cell. All right, so participate in all this matter. If you, if you see anything injustice in the society, you should have the, power, the courage to raise your voice. So this is what we support from NCW. Another one we have, the legal cell. As ma'am mentioned that we have the rights to recommend to the central government to advise the central government to, you know, to, uh, for the safeguards of women and all, regarding the laws and regulation related to women, how to make it better for the, for the women to live in our society. We have the PMR cell, that is the policy monitoring and research cell. I heard, I was informed from this college also you have uh, submitted some of the research program to the NCW and I know and I'm sure that we, we will you know, refer your proposal again 
so that I'll get a chance once again to visit Tetso College. Then we have the NRI cell. NRI cell, we have witnessed in our society, especially in the state of Punjab, South Indian states and all, we witnessed that many women married to the NRI, non-residence Indian. They married to them and they have to go to their respective state where their husband live, like in the US, in other foreign countries. But after they reach there, they mistreated them. They leave them. They abandon them. They desert them for other women. So for this also, we have the NRI cell to provide help to all those women, Indian women, who married to the NRI and abandoned in that particular country alone where they don't have anyone. Nobody will support them, but they also NCW reach them and support them for whatever they need for their protection. We have a very special cell also, our Northeast cell. Recently, I think from Nagaland, they, uh, some of the students visited the PMO office also, last year. So, you know, this, this policy, this uh, not is cell. It is formed uh, in relation to the policy that the Prime Minister has said. There is, uh, the time is now to act east. It's not to look east. Before, we used to hear about that scheme, that look east policy. But this time, after the Prime Minister come into power, Prime Minister Narendra Modi come into power, he decided that we should act east. So through this policy, we started the North East cell, and we have our North East hostel, where the working women from wherever in the Northeastern states, who are from the Northeastern States, they could stay there in that hostel and work from that hostel. Okay, we, as we all know, if we go outside our state, many people call us Chinese, Nepali, they, they won't recognize us, right? So, for our support, for our protection, NCW started this Northeastern uh, hostel through the Northeast cell. We also have the Jammu and Kashmir cell. These two are very special cell, Northeast cell and the Jammu and Kashmir cell. Then we have a Somoto cell, as ma'am mentioned before. What, what are we doing in this uh, Somoto cell? In Somoto cell, if we, there is a heinous crime, okay, committed against women we could hear or we came to know about these incidents through media, through social, social media, through newspaper, or through the news channel. If we think that this is a very heinous crime against women, for example, I'll give it to you. Recently, you heard about that Delhi murder case where a 16 years old girl was stabbed for several times. In that matter also, we took a SOMOTO case and went for an inquiry. We, I was the one who went for that inquiry and we inquired about that and we issued an order that within 40 days, this person should, should be charged sheeted. And as soon as possible, the victim should be should be given a proper justice. So this is what we are doing. And apart from conducting seminar in collaboration with all the colleges, institutes, all over India, this is our main function. If 
you have time, you can come and visit our office in New Delhi. We do accept the proposal of the colleges or the institutions to visit our NCW. But for that, you have to give us prior notice so that we can, you know, uh, arrange for it in a proper way. So do make sure that one day, all of you, you will come and visit our office in Delhi also. I extend my invitation to all of you. Do come to my office. Okay. So, as I said, if we talk about capacity building, we have our a uh, good resource person but I just want to tell you we as women we already we are already empowered because we are the divine creator of the almighty we are biologically very strong but it is only the society that weaken us. We are already very strong, very straightforward, especially in our northeastern states. We are very, very much far ahead of our uh, women or sisters in other parts of the country. But the only thing is that whatever instincts, whatever skills, whatever knowledge we have through this seminar, it is just to help you enhance your skills, your instinct, which you already have in you. We just remind you that you are valuable, you are priceless for our society. Everything, you know, you should start by yourself. Think from your within. Think from yourself. Love yourself first. In our khasi, we have this principle, one of the principle that we say, eat yellow day, buram yakiwe. Which means, first of all, love yourself and then respect others. This is our tenet in the Khasi society, in our Khasi culture. And I believe all of us, as the Bharatiya, as an Indian, we have this same culture and practice that we should love ourselves and respect others also. Okay? We should not create noisance to the person next, sitting next to us. So what I mean to say here is nobody will come and spoon feed you. All you have to start by yourself. Okay? If you don't understand anything, like in college also, it's not that your teacher comes to you and said, come and take admission in our college. They did not come visit door to door, but it's you who approach the college. Am I right? Because you want to learn. So in capacity building and skill and uh, personality development also, it is all that you have to start by yourself. Start from today. Analyze your capacity. Analyze your skills. And by attending the seminar, I believe that you can enhance your skill, your listening skills, your... Uh, skills to face an interview, to prepare your resume, and many, many skills that we all have already possessed within us. So, as I said, I won't uh, go to the personality development uh, and the capacity building because I know they are experts over here. And one more thing I would like to suggest to all of you, that you should idealize someone. You should idealize someone, some, some very successful person. Analyze how hard they work 
for to achieve their own goals. You have a very best example of here also. Your principal ma'am also is here. You can idolize her as a woman. You can idolize, if you want to become a politician, idolize some politician. If you want to become an IPS officer, idolize Kiran Bedi or any other person whom you know personally also. So, as I said, all will should start from within, should start from yourself. Having said that, I would like to wish all of you for a enlightening and a fruitful seminar of the capacity building and personality development. And I wish you all very, very best for your bright future. Thank you so much.